hello my friends and welcome to the channel so today i want to quickly show you how you can use tailwind and scss which is sas in a single project so um there may there may be a variety of reasons why you want to do that let's say you have an existing project that you built with css and sas and you want to be able to start using tailwind okay maybe you find tailwind great and you want to start incorporating tailwind but you don't want to have to rebuild the whole application from the ground up that's the style in the front end part of the application so you want to be able to at least incorporate tailwind while still preserving your uh, scss you've written in the past so let me show you how you can do that so first off i want you to go ahead and you know create a next app using this command line and then just cd into your project you're going to have something that looks like this so this is um, a next app i've created as you can see i created the app and then i cleaned up the page the entry point which is the p.tsx file okay but one other thing i also did was that i created a fit a component and inside of that component i created a features component so i just need to rename this to features sorry features okay that's good dot css good so now what i want to do now is let's go to the tailwind documentation because i don't want it to be like i'm doing this thing from my head I'm actually just following Tailwind documentation, but I discovered that um, some of my students, this is something that they would like to do. So on this page where it says using um, Tailwind with preprocessors, this is where you need to be. Um, just scroll down a bit and first off, you need to install this guy called post CSS hyphen import. So I'm just going to copy that and then we're going to install it. Okay, I think maybe I should just expand this guy a little bit so that i can just aha uh -huh. so i'll come here and i'll create another terminal and in this new terminal let me collapse this guy i'm just going to paste that command line in so this is npm install and then dash d for development post css import so hit enter on that and give it a couple of seconds it's going to import now after you've imported it so that's done so after you've imported it you need to specify that you want to use that and it's going to be inside your post css.config file so just copy this first line here right copy that and then come to your post css.config you notice that we already have tailwind and auto prefixer so tailwind naturally uses auto prefixer but this time we want to introduce this post css import all right go ahead and save that and then let's come back to the documentation all right so here i will scroll down and what do we have next okay so it's telling us about some things um okay it's just giving us some documentation about how to set it up but there's a specific okay now this is where i want to show you so the way you set up your tailwind and regular sas is quite different so if you come and open uh the let me see you know what let me import this features.tsx first inside the page so let me just do it so that i can close it so i will see features and then i'm just going to close it so if i save that now we should be able to see uh -huh, so this is the features page it's just a text all right good so um let me go to my tailwind.config no 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 not tailwind.config my globals.css file so you see in my globals.css file we just you know imported these three um tailwind uh will i say components so let me just come here and show you in the documentation that's not how it works when you want to work with sas so what you need to do is you need to change the way you import um tailwind the base the component and the utilities so i'm just going to copy all of these guys right and then I'm, i'll come here i'll comment all of this out just so that you can see and then i'll just paste this in now of course i don't have all of this other css file like this custom base styles i don't have that i don't have this custom components as well and i don't have this okay so let me just bring this and like that so instead of importing this tailwind base we need to do it like this so at import tailwind css forward slash base this is in the tailwind node um, node modules folder all of these imports here so tailwind will find will find them in the node modules for tailwind so this is how you import it all right so now we also need to import the css file so let me come here and show you um 
I'm going to come here. I'll just come down here and I'll say at import. Import. Okay. That's not spelled correctly. Sorry. Okay. Then I will now locate the file that I want to import. And the file I want to import is inside of my component. So here I'll say dot forward slash. Oh, okay. I think I need to go two steps upward. And then I'll say component. And then I want to import the features.css file. Okay. Good. Now I'll import this features.css file. And then I'm just going to come back to the documentation because right now we're not going to be able to use SAS in the features.css file yet. So what I'll do is I'll come to the documentation and then I'm just going to scroll down. And so it's giving us some things that's okay. So for you to use CSS file, you need to import, um, you need to install a package called post CSS hyphen nested. All right. So let me just copy this. Okay. I think I can just type it up myself. So I'll just come here and say npm install post CSS hyphen nested i hope i spelled that correctly so hit enter on that and then it's just going to install that as well all right so you see it has installed now let's come here we need to add one more line to our post css.config file and that is this second one tailwind css forward slash nesting so i'm just going to come here and this is what is going to give you the ability to use sas nesting in your tailwind with tailwind rather so I'm just going to cop, um, copy that and then I'll come to my post CSS configuration file and paste that in. All right. So now I'll go ahead and save and that's it. That's how you set up your Tailwind CSS. So um, now let's go ahead and use that. So I'm just going to come here and let me reduce this and reduce this as well. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to use SAS inside of these features. Remember, We've imported the features inside of globals.css. I think I can collapse this one now. So we've imported it here. So now inside of the features.tsx, sorry, features.css, regular CSS, I'll just come here and maybe say something like dot content. So it needs to be dot, so dot content. And then I'm just going to open it up. Let me just give this a width of, let's say, 100 and 100%. And then I'm just going to nest another style inside it. So let's just say dot red. And for the dot red, I'll just give it a color of red. And then I'm just going to do another one, which I'll call dot blue. So let's make this one dot blue. Aha. So we have dot red and dot blue. And then I'll just go ahead and save. So this is a SCSS feature, which is nesting. And is like the most common, most popular feature that we have when it comes to working with scss and sas so i'm going to come to my features right here and i'll give this a class of a class name of content and then inside here i'm going to give this watch closely i'm going to give this a class name of red okay first off let me just incorporate okay let me just say red and then i'll save and watch what happens here so you see the color has changed to red and the interesting thing is that you can also use tailwind classes you can also use tailwind classes anywhere so let me show you for example if i wanted to maybe make this text bold let's say text bold text hyphen bold uh let me save that and just show you so you see oh okay i don't think this is bold okay let me give it text and just say 2xl i think it should be 2xl save that you see the size will increase okay then i'll just say font and then hyphen bold aha so just go ahead and save and watch what happens so you see so aside the fact that you can use scss you can also use your tailwind classes and the interesting thing is that you don't need to import your css file here all you just need to do is make sure you've imported it in your globals.css file and just like that that's how you can incorporate tailwind and scss so you don't have to completely rewrite your old projects you can incorporate tailwind and start working with them Alright, so that's about it. If you're not subscribed to this channel and you enjoy content around web development, make sure to subscribe. And if you like to get more advanced courses on web development, uh, make sure to check out my website, xenotrustacademy.com and my signature course, Men E-Commerce Plus Fintech Digital Wallet. Alright, so that's about it for this one. I'll see you in another one.